Hello, very good dear subscribers, and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we have the special monthly video reviewing my portfolio starting from zero euros with you. Get ready to discover my mate pick. As always, first I would like to analyze a little about the evolution of the YouTube channel and how I see it in a couple of months. As you can see the evolution during this last month has been very positive since some days jumped due to some semi-viral shorts. Additionally, we grow as much as I expected in the daily number of visits and new subscribers. The evolution continues to grow although it is necessary to find a new approach to try to attract more people. Wow! This month we have exceeded the goal of reaching 1,200 subscribers. So for this month the goal will be to reach 1,350 subscribers. Do you think we will make it? The evolution of the investment made in May has not been so good, as it drops almost 1.2%, but in overall the portfolio has performed in an excellent way with almost 3% growth. Texas Instruments Texas Roadhouse and S&P 500 Information Technology had growth above 6%. Next Era Energy has been the best performing stock with 18% upside. While Starbucks dropped around 10% and Hersey, Nike and Vici between 2% upside and 3% downside. Remember that this is a very long-term investment and that the objective is not to obtain a high return in the short term. So this large drop of Starbucks since I made the purchase does not worry me too much since I fully trust my estimates of the intrinsic value of them. The good news is that during this month we have received two dividend payments. Specifically Euro 1.02 Euro of Texas Instruments and 44 cents from Starbucks. That makes a total of 1 Euro and 46 cents. Moving on, I currently have 30 stocks from different sectors on my watch list but for today's video we will only focus on those that are below my estimate of their intrinsic value. Because remember, you always have to buy low and sell high, and not the other way around. As simple as it may seem, most investors lose their money by not following this advice and selling their shares when the price has already fallen in panic and buying them when everyone is talking about them and the price is overbought. Additionally, I have chosen to take into account the companies in the healthcare sector to close the companies in this sector until next year. So we will go on to analyze in-depth companies such as Avi, Abbott Laboratories, Bristol-Myers Squibb and CVS Health, since four of them would allow us to receive dividends this month and two of them are so cheap after a huge drop in their market price. In order to better evaluate each section that we are analyzing, I have decided to create a Google Sheets table in which we will place the score obtained by each company, like the previous months. Let's start by checking the dividend safety. Both Avi and CVS have a dividend safety of 80 while Abbott has a dividend safety of 90. Finally, Bristol Myers has a lower dividend safety even so I consider that the safety of all four is good. Regarding dividend yield, only Bristol-Myers has not a dividend yield between 2.5% and 4.5% that is the range I am looking for. However, if we look at dividend growth, the situation changes completely since the stocks that had a higher initial dividend are those that have the lowest growth. Even so, the growth of all of them seems stable, with the annual compound growth of the last five years being between 5% and 10%. Continuing with the evolution of the revenue, and earnings of each company. All four have had a positive evolution, although Abbott, Bristol-Myers and Avi had a decrease in both in the last year. Now, if we look at the evolution of free cash flow per share over the last 10 years, the two that have had a positive evolution are Avi and Bristol-Myers Squibb since the other two have had a somewhat flat and inconsistent evolution with years of growth and years of decrease. As I mentioned in my previous video, I want to make investments in companies that make buybacks, however none of them have a clear buyback program since four companies have increased the shares over the last decade. The price-slash-earnings ratio is a good indicator to check whether a company is undervalued or overvalued, in addition to a fair value analysis. Bristol-Myers and CVS are below the five-year average price-to-earnings ratio, while Avi above them, indicating an overvaluation of their respective prices. Moving on to yield on cost, here Avi and ABT are the clear winner with around 10% compound annual growth rate over the last 10 years. 
while CVS and Bristol-Myers Squibb barely managed to have minus 2% compound annual growth rate on their yield on cost during the last 10 years. Finally, we will see the total return that each stock has offered during the last 5 years. Here AbbVie is also the clear winner, while Bristol-Myers was the worst in this area with only 5% total return in the last 5 years. Once we have all the values of the scores obtained, what I will do is multiply the average of all the sections by the score obtained in terms of dividend safety in order to more efficiently adjust the results to its security. Well, as you can see, Avi and Abbott have obtained the highest score, but I will choose Avi due to his free cash flow growth rate. As a result, Avi will be our pick of June. Then we enter the scalable broker and carry out the operation, looking for the Avi ticker. Remember that I will always try to make a purchase of around 100 euros so that the commission is less than 1%. So introducing one share we would make an investment of 149 euros and 96 cents. So adding the commission of 99 cents, the investment amounts to 150 euros and 95 cents. I would like to emphasize that I made the purchase on the 29 of April. Well, we go on to write down the purchases made in our Google spreadsheet. So I put the date on which I made the purchase, the AVI ticker and finally I have to look at the euro to US dollar exchange rate to have it as a reference. As you can see, it gives me a total of 150 euros and 95 cents. Then placing the ticker in the first column as always, automatically will appear the number of shares and costs per share. We added it in the healthcare sector. And as you can see, we have some problems to obtain the annual dividend data from Findus but more or less it will allow us to reinvest 0.04 shares annually via dividends. As we are already in the month of June, I will move on to the monthly value sheet, and in the month of June 2024 we will write the €1,356.08 that our investments are worth in the market. This month I added a new feature to this sheet which shows the monthly total return of our portfolio. This month the portfolio made an upside of 2.77% which is too close to the 2.8% that VO, S&P 500 ETF, has obtained in the same time period. This has been all for today dear investors, a pleasure as always to receive your great support. Remember that these videos are not investment recommendations and it is necessary for each of you to do your own analysis and consult a financial expert if necessary. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and activate the bell so you don't miss any of my interesting videos. Thank you for watching the video, and tell me through the comments what you think my portfolio will look like next month.